Okay, Taken 3. Or Tak 3 n depending on how you wanna how you wanna read it. So the first Taken, they kidnap Liam Neeson's daughter. And he goes on a mild killing spree to get his daughter back. And the second one, they kidnap Liam Neeson and his wife, Famke Johnson or Famika Johnson, depending on your pronunciation of it. And the daughter has to kind of help free him, and then he goes on a small killing spree. Taken 3 has him squaring off against the cops. And, you know, the, the random Eastern European villains. The, the plot is kind of like, well, if I give you a kind of like, I'm going to ruin a lot of the, 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 the film. <clears throat> he gets framed, and instead of him telling the cops when he gets information, he just does more and more illegal things the whole time through. It's like, you, you've been framed for a crime. Uh-huh. You have information that could lead to you being proven innocent pretty easily. I mean, he's he's a smart guy. But, but instead he goes on like a Grand Theft Auto level crime spree. When you look at every single thing that he does throughout this film to try to clear his name as well as defeat the bad guys. So a lot of the film, he's fighting off against the cops and then the Eastern European villains. It's a standard action film. You know, there are quite a few times when you're like, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's dead. He's dead. He, he escapes unharmed. All right. At least this time in the fighting sequences, you, you can tell that there's more of a... The more in close, he's taking lots of guys who are younger and a little bit stronger, a little bit faster, so he actually gets hit more often. And he does appear to get kind of worn down, which is good. He doesn't have, like, Bruce Willis diehard syndrome, where it's like, you know, you get, you get thrown against a car, and the hood explodes, and then you roll up, and you're like, oh, jeez, man, I'm okay. No, he's, he's limping, he's hurt. The Eastern European villain has virtually no screen time, which is sad for a main villain. So you see him in the beginning, you see him a little bit in the middle, and then you see him in like the climactic battle. It felt like he needed more screen time. There, there are some twists and turns, but these are ones where there might as well have been like a sign like halfway through the film, like, oh, twist. It's coming up. You'll see it, don't worry. All in all, not a bad film, I will say, out of the franchise. It was like, Taken. Man, Liam Neeson is awesome. Taken 2. Man, Liam Neeson is awesome. Taken 3. You know, he's still awesome. Just the, the film's kind of not there. <laughs>